All right, so we got a, another developer discussion. This is for the 6th of December. It's artifact management and enhancement screen optimizations are here. So that's already off to a great start. Don't know if that means artifact presets just yet, but honestly, we're already off to a good start. So artifact management and enhancement screens optimized. So this is going to be a pretty spicy one, looks like. This is finally one that's going to be pretty impactful, no pun intended. So let's see. In version 4.3, we'll implement a series of system optimizations in the game. We will be introducing some of these in the developer discussion. Let's take a look together. So Archon Quest, a Requiem of Echoing Depths unlinked from World Quest. So that's the Chasm one. That's the Dane's left one. Okay, so now they're making it easier for you to just kind of like go straight to it. There's a teleport waypoint that's going to be added to it. So you don't have to actually like stop in the middle of the Archon Quest because of a World Quest. That's convenient. They've been doing that a lot recently, like with a uh, finishing mod stat story and you just have a teleport straight to Fontaine. Then we have one click features, dispatching characters on expeditions. No. Claim all, dispatch again. Thank you. Literally like, I hate to bring this up, but like playing Star Rail and seeing all the advancements in that game in comparison, it's just like the small things. It's the menu stuff that I'm just like, please, you know, like where, where, the, where's the dispatch again button, you know, like, thank you. That is, that is huge. That just, that's just like such a small thing, but it helps so much. And, and instead of having to find Bennett and find Fashil and find Shen He and find Yalon and find the characters who give you the double stuff and, you know, having to like reselect it every single time. It's just like, it's literally such a small thing that I'm just, I'm just, just thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's, that's a big W. That's a big W. So one click expeditions will become available in 4.3. This will allow travelers to claim expedition rewards on a single click, as well as the to repeat expeditions in a single click. See, I'm so happy about that too, because they could have just said claim all and not had the dispatch again button. That would have sucked if that was the case, because it would have been half of it, but not the other half. But honestly, claim all is actually new. That's not even in Star Rail. You can't claim all of them. You can dispatch again, but you can't claim them all. So that's actually an even bigger W. Huh, I didn't even think about that. So they added claim all and uh, single click. So thank you, man. Big W, big W. There we go. And that's in 4.3 as well. So ingredient processing and forging screens, aside from expeditions, you'll also be able to claim process ingredients and forge items that have been completed at a single click. Okay, that's good news too. I, I gotta see that though. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna play out. I need to actually like physically see it. Mystic Offering, when performing Mystic Offering at the, the Strong Box, we'll be able to add multiple artifacts and batches with a single click. Thank you. In the future versions, you'll also be able to claim creative furnishings from the cre creation screen in the Serenity Teapot. Okay. So basically, all of the menus have been advanced. Um, I haven't seen artifacts just yet. Or it's down here. But Forging, Ingredients, Mystic Offering, and Expeditions. That is such a W. We're already off to an amazing start. All right, here we go. Optimize artifact management. As the journey goes on, the number of artifact sets you collect will increase. To help travelers quickly find or manage artifacts, a significant optimization has been made to the artifact filter function. Automatically locking and quick unlock functions have been added to the inventory and artifact screen. Travelers can use these to automatically lock and unlock artifacts according to the requirements they set. So in your artifact screen, locked, not locked. Ooh. Wait. Uh, you can, you can find. Oh no. Okay. So you can like click multiple to figure out which ones you want to find. So that's just like, kind of like filtering through them. And then you can pick one and filter them out like normal. You can usually filter them out already, right? It doesn't look like that right now, of course, but. And then automatically lock five star artifacts. Oh yeah, that, that is a nice layout though. 
One plan saved. Okay. I'm a little lost on this one. This is just what, like a locking and unlocking? Plan one, plan two. Dude, they can totally do the presets. Like, I can already see it happening. Like, if you're going to do all of this with the artifacts and have plans saved and stuff like that, you got to do the presets. Like, you know what you have to do. Like, trust me, on everything, trust me, Hyoverse knows. Like, they know. They haven't done it yet, but, like, I don't know if they even will, but at this point, you know. Like, you definitely know. You're doing all this, like, you absolutely can add the presets. Okay, so you can, they basically made it easier to, like, see what you're working with and lock and unlock, like, automatically lock artifacts. Oh, and maybe depending on what set, like, like, hey, I want you to make sure you always lock my gladiator pieces or something like that, I guess. Automatically lock and unlock artifacts. Okay. All right. That's not exactly what I was thinking it was going to be, but okay. Additionally, as reference to help child was to be choosing artifacts, recommend, recommended artifact set information will be based on the players. Oh, just, just, just like the talent thing from a long time ago. Okay. All right. Then we have optimized enhancement screens. In the current version of the game, when travelers level up their characters or enhance weapons and artifacts, a pop-up appears showing how the corresponding values change before and after the enhancement. Yes, so that is very annoying. It's, it was kind of cool in the beginning, but over time it gets annoying because you get the, you know, hey, you leveled up type of screen and you just want to keep on going, so it can kind of be annoying. However, in version 4.3, enhancement information will be integrated into the original screen instead. This will make the enhancement experience smoother for travelers by getting rid of the pop-ups. Thank you. That's another W. Apart from integrating enhancement information, there'll also be some small target optimization on these screens. So he's level 70, goes up by 10. See, they should have had it where he wasn't maxed out, because now I can't really see the point of it. I, I get it, I get it, right? But like he should have been like level 50. So you could see like you know him keep on leveling up. I want to see if like if you can just keep on hitting level up over and over and over again but they just kind of max it out but i think i understand what they're trying to say basically you don't have to deal with the you know the pop-up anymore you can just keep on going a lot of people actually animation cancel this like myself if you're leveling something up you just kind of like hit escape if you're playing on pc and then um you just kind of go back to it but you're like you're, you're skipping the pop-up basically so this should make leveling things a lot easier and this is also 4.3. So 4.3 is going to be the quality of life update patch. The speed of interface special effects related to leveling characters has been increased. And you can auto, you can auto add in significant character XP materials to get the character up to the highest level. They can reach before ascension with a single click. Huh? Oh, so there's, there's fixed values now. Wait, no. Is it? Also, there's a lot more artifacts on that screen too. Holy crap. There's 15? Look at that. There's 15. 15 of 15. And yeah, those are all purple. That's that's insane. So it looks like they, they tuned it to where you can... Oh, okay. So he turned it off. I see. You can turn it on. You can turn it off. Okay. Okay, that's another. That's also another big W. It took me a second to, to get it, but that's that's another big W. So it goes to 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Okay, that, yeah, leveling things is going to be so much easier. Not complaining, but man, like, where was this stuff at before? <laughs> but hey, I'm, I'm grateful. You know, I'm grateful. I'm glad. I'm glad it's here now. So yeah, you can you can go up to 15 with artifacts. You can hit the next tier function. 4, 8, 12, 16. Uh, and you can choose whether five star artifacts can be auto added as enhancement materials. Oh, that's cool too, actually, because you can't do that right now. You can't do that. You can only go up to four. You can't go up to five. You can pick four and like have a bunch of four star artifacts, but you have to manually select the five star ones if you fought. Sorry, my voice is gone. If you fodder the uh, five star artifacts, you actually have to press them. 
and now you can actually just add them. So, but like auto add. Combined with auto locking function mentioned above, we hope that these changes will make managing five star artifacts more convenient for travelers. Yes, yes, it will. Thank you, man. Dang. Can consume up to 40 items per time when enhancing weapons. Dang, 40? Wow. We hope that the obvious is like it. Yeah, yeah, it definitely will. Character reload spot when challenging domains repeatedly. In version 4.3, after entering a domain, you will enter or challenge the domain after claiming rewards. Characters will reload nearer, nearer to the domain challenge location. This means you won't have to run over the domain. Say what? Oh, he's at the... That was one that I was thinking personally that I put in the survey sometimes. That's actually amazing because that's that's a personal one for me. I was actually asking for that personally. So in, when you start, you're going to have to start normally like you usually do. But if you do the artifact domain again, you'll be put back at the key instead of having to run all the way up there again. And you use you use all your stamina and you can't do anything. So <laughs> thank goodness. That's another that's another W. This is a jam packed quality of life update. So is that also 4.3? Yes. Yep. 4.3. Okay. Other optimizations to improve your gaming experience. Uh, we implemented a version 4.3. The way the avatars show up. They, I, we knew this was going to happen too. I, I told you it was getting a little too congested where it's just like one bar. You have to keep scrolling down. So now we have like a, a nice layout. Nice. I love that. Can also cancel cancel navigation on the screen and stop navigating towards the enemy. That's a big help. Like I said, man, like it's all about the small things. Like I can't stress that enough. It's the it's the small things. Before we talk about like, you know, hey, can we have more resin or can we have more of this or more of that? Like honestly, if you ask me, it's just the small stuff. Let's get through the small stuff first. So we can have like a, a smoother experience, you know? I mean, I listen, I'm all, I'm already down for more resin. Don't, you know, for sure. But I'm just saying the small things are very important. Uh, for crafting, cooking, forging, creating furniture, there are no select the character records in the travel travelers device. The first character to write a bonus will be chosen by default. Oh, okay. So yeah, when you're cooking something and like Barbara gives you double the item, she'll just be the first one picked. Um, that's nice. Hopefully it's a character you actually want. <laughs> like it's defaulted. On the map screen, you'll be able to check bosses current remaining spawn times. Oh, wow. They didn't even have to do that. That's nice. That's nice. So now you can see it recovers in two minutes. That's nice. I like that. And that's all, folks. I have more information on a new version and content optimization for the future. Please stay tuned for any other announcements. Wow, man. I'm, I'm actually impressed. We didn't get artifact presets. That's, that's the first comment. <laughs> we didn't get artifact presets. But, hey, you know, I know we're three years in and it feels like it's long overdue. But it's better than not having it at all, you know. But, yeah, this is absolutely jam-packed. Just a quick recap. Uh, made that Archon Quest easier. Dispatch again and claim all. So you don't even have to don't even have to do any more clicking. Just claim all, dispatch again. You're good to go. So basically two clicks. <laughs> Not one click, but two clicks. Um This one is like very specific for like locking and unlocking your artifacts. There's like a brand new nice little menu. This is huge as well. I like the leveling with no more pop-ups. Um, you can go for 8, 12, 16, 20. Same those are weapons as well. Like you can just kind of go straight to the next level. And uh, yeah, and then you come back to the, to the domain. But overall, this is like the most impactful developer discussion, quality of life update we've had in a long time. Like this is huge. And this is all in 4.3. It's not even like, oh, it'll be out later or sometime in the future. It's literally all next patch. So when Navia sets sail and she was Chevrous, that patch on December 20th is going to be like, it's going to be a breath of fresh air for quality of life stuff. 
there's still obviously things that could be done. But at the end of the day, this is a, you know, a great start three years in. <laughs> three years in. But, hey, you know, at, at least at least we're, we're, we're at least we have it, you know, at least we have it. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. Huge W for them. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. What was like your favorite thing, if any? Do you like it all? Um, what else could they possibly do? Like, what else could they add? I mean, we know artifact resets, of course, but like put in the comments, what are some other things I could possibly do? Because we all have to band together and, you know, every single survey, they're probably not listening. But <laughs> with this, I feel like somebody's listening at least. So in the surveys, we all have to band together and just put what the game needs in there, you know? So let me know what you guys think. What are some things you could, you're still looking forward to? And let me know if I miss anything as well. But yeah, great news. I'm excited. Now we're just, uh, we're in the 4.3 waiting room. But that'll be all for me. That was a breath of fresh air. And uh, catch you guys in the next one. And last but not least, while I was editing that video, this popped up, the 4.3 special program. So you got your little, oh, your little Chevrolet, little Navia. I always love the chibis. And this time it's at 7 a.m on the 8th, which is a Friday. So look out for that. I'll be on Twitch streaming this live. Hopefully nothing goes wrong again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I will see you guys then.